so welcome back to this channel once again and in this video tutorial i will be discussing uh, file information data structure infds used with infsr to catch file exceptions in rpg4 so basically i am going to uh, talk about uh, uh, exception handling uh, for the files in rpg so let me go to the example uh, which i created so here i define one file clpf1a so let me show you that so this file has uh, four columns and two records now if uh, let me show you the dsp fd information of that file so this is a keyed file and the key is roll number so i just defined this file is in in input mode fully procedural and this is an external describe file and a keyed file so i associated infds file information data structure with this and i named that as ds1 so here you can see the main important uh, things of the file ds1 which is infds file open indicator end of file indicator status op code routine list num so these things you can uh, get the information from my previous video which is file information data structure now i just associated this file information data structure with this file and then i used infsr star psr uh, thing so this is a uh, file information uh, file error subroutine so i can star psr is basically used to handle the uh, program errors but we can also handle the file errors we can also catch the file errors in this subroutine so in this case if i define an fsr with the star psr so i would be able to handle both file and program errors in psr but i'm going to handle only file exceptions here because i'm going um, i'm only giving the demo for the file exceptions right now so if i want code this here what happens all the program errors would be dealt uh, by the standard way but if i use this so file errors and program errors would be dealt by this way pssr also one more thing i can even name it something else for example infs routine so nfsr for example a1 so i can even rename anything to this but i am using pssr you can uh, check it at your end so i define this file as user open so i have to open and close this file in my rpg program now you can see i just took a few variables the return code and the roll number roll number is initialized with 3 and it is a five packed uh, decimal zero and return code is of six characters so this is just to chain that file because roll number is a key in file clpf1a and return code would be written by the uh, uh, error routine pssr routine or even if you rename it something else then that routine name will be coming here so you can even handle a uh, file or uh, program exceptions in different subroutine also based upon your need now in this program if you see i just open the file clpf1a using the open op code and then close the file using close after that i am uh, 
chaining on that file clpf 1a withdrawal number 3 so if i do shift f9 and then run query on that so i can see roll number 3 is not present there recall not found okay if percentile found i am adding roll number uh, to roll number uh, to 1 okay so i am adding 1 to that roll number and then assigning to the uw roll and you know which is a local variable to this program so initialized this is initialized with 3 so for example if it is found it would be 4 else roll number uw roll number becomes 0 and end if and after that inlr set to an on so in case if in case if any error found in between that with respect to the file what happens the program just go to the first line of the pssr subroutine which is currently handling the file exceptions not the program exceptions so i'll create one more video where i'll be showing you uh, how we will be handling the program exceptions also or the file exceptions in a same pssr or in multiple uh, routines so here i am checking if status is 0 1 2 1 1 so from where i am pointing this status so i am basically getting this status from the file information data structure so if i am not using this i won't be able to get this one more important thing we cannot use this infsr thing uh, with a file which is defined in a uh, sub procedure where no main is defined means the service program or the no main module anything so on in those cases i we cannot use this so we have to just go for some other uh, ways to do the exception handlings now if i look at status code so i just listed few of them you can more search you can uh, search more on google so if you see if the status code is 0000, 0, 0, 0 means no exception or error. If it is 0, 0, 0, 0011, 1, so means uh, it's end of file on a read. If it's 01021, 0, 0, 1, try to write duplicate record on Unikey. So you can check all these status, status codes and code accordingly in your PSSR subroutine, or you can take any action accordingly. I'll be letting you know how, what actions you can take there and this is input output operation to a close file so as you can see I'm checking 01211 because I just open a file and then close a file then I am doing the chain on that file and if you look at the first line for the F spec you can see this is this file is a user open file so we have to open this file but this file is currently closed so we will be getting error this status code this 01211 so in that case we can pass the return code from this subroutine so this subroutine will return a uh, return code in which is defined in the factor 2 if you so this will be a factor 2 thing of the NSR and you cannot uh, I think code uh, this in uh, sub procedures so and uh yes sure in sub procedures uh, you can go uh, for every sub procedure uh pssr pssr would be a local to every sub procedure so if you want to do this in sub procedures so every sub procedure would handle its own pssr so you have to find a way to manage that thing accordingly you can even write a procedure and you can call that procedure from the pssr uh, which would be called from every sub procedures so this would uh, minimize your work and even number of lines of code so here you can see return code is blank currently so if i pass return code as blank so now it uh, it's up to the uh, to the compiler or the program so the operating system itself will handle this how uh, something uh, or how this would be happened so in this case uh, what happened basically if i pass plank uh, the control will uh, uh, 
go to the operating system and it will throw us the error to take uh, any option that uh, this error is coming in front of you and you can either take cancel dumb or whatever you want to uh, take so if i pass if i pass uh, return code as cancel so it will uh, uh, pass the cancel instruction to the operating system and the procedure will end okay and if i pass return code as get in star get in what happens it will skip the processing of that record and it will again go and look for another record okay so this is the basic function functioning of this program let me compile this just take 14 f4 f10 debug view is star source program is compiled successfully just do work object to see the object is present strdbg to debug this program and debug first rpgle6 yes yes breakpoint at line number one call rpgle6 so if you look look at the ds1 currently it is zero f10 ds1 and the file indication is one open indication is zero means file is open sorry it's one now if it is one i was i was wrong if it is one then it is open and if it is zero means it's uh, uh, not reached to end of file right now so of code you can see open and it is currently executing the detail so dtc even you can pass this this dtc to the return code whenever you want so the file is open now the file is closed so if you now look at the ds1 and the file reached and the open indication is zero indicator is zero means it is closed now now if you are doing the chain on this file withdrawal number three what happened an error occurs just do shift f9 dsp job log so you can even see this error in the job log input output operation was applied to close file clpf1a f1 attempted operation chain on file this while the file was closed you can get this error from here message id is rnx1211 now we are at the first line of the pssr if status code is 1211 so we can see the status code eval ds1 status code is there yes so it will uh, pass the return code as blank and nsr will return the return code as blank to the operating system and then operating system will behave accordingly and it will throw the message to us input auto put operation was applied to close file this f1 f10 shift f6 now you have the option to take cancel get in dump full formatted dump so what i would do i would take cancel here this program and procedure ends now what i would do i would comment this line i'm just showing you the way to pass the return code just 14 f4 f10 please down star source as debug view and debug first strdvg 
spec point at line number one call rpg le6 program f10 file is closed the status code will be 01211 return code is cancel now so this program procedure ends and the program will get cancelled and you can see here the error was this application error this okay so this time this not this doesn't throw the message screen to take any option cancel dump or anything else the program simply cancels the procedure ends now this time what I will do I'll comment this out I'll make it start getting compile this program and debug strdbg again compile this program start source strdbg breakpoint at line number one call this program rpg 6 10 status code is this return code is getting so it will skip the processing of this record and it will again uh, jump the cursor to the first line it will again open close then again look for the roll number status code is again the same so again get in again it will look for this so now if you will see the behavior of this code what happens since we are changing with the same number same roll number again and again and we are passing return code is task getting so it will skipping that processing if and again asking for the same again executing the same lines set of lines from the starting okay so it now seems as that the program went to the infinite loop if you see okay so these things we need to uh, uh, maintain or we need to uh, always take care of that what value we are uh, passing in the return code whenever we are uh, coding the pssr subroutine or the infsr subroutine for catching the file exceptions so yeah as i already told that i can even name it something else and if i name it something else there so i would have to change the name here also okay now this program is an infinite loop it never it will never end because it is again and again chaining for the same roll number on a and and the file is closed okay so what happened we would not we must not have passed the get into the return code so if in case it was a read operation okay and we are reading each record of that file so for first record for for example if it has reached the first record and it found some error it went there and get in was pa uh, passed as a return code it jumps to the next record okay it again uh, process if it always it will always process all the records it process all the records and then after uh, once end of file reach so it won't fulfill this condition if condition and this error routine will end so for now we need to hard do something we need to hard code the return code even eval return code as even i can pass plank or start cancel both now what we can do we can even take cg again i'm taking cancel okay so this is the whole functioning of the um nfsr keyword or uh, uh, with inf infds so I showed you how we can handle so I just handle one 
status code you can handle multiple status code code accordingly in your pssr based upon your requirement so this is just uh, i'm handling the file exception even you can handle the program exceptions also like uh, array bound array index out of bound uh, invalid date or timestamp or maybe divide by zero something else which you may know so that's the whole uh, thing which i want to show here in this uh, demo and i would end my video here so thank you and have a nice time